we made these super cool pattern pumpkins that we drew with crayon and we added colors and designs and shapes all over them so that they're inspired by our feature artist Romero Brito. This week we're gonna take it to the next level and add color all over it. <gasps> and we get to paint. We get to paint. We're gonna paint. We're gonna paint. We're gonna paint. Miss Morningstar can't make just a regular old pumpkin that's orange or green. No, no, no. Miss Morningstar has to make rainbow pumpkins full of patterns and designs because why not? So let's get started making our Romero Brito inspired crazy pumpkins. Remember, Romero Brito is our inspiration this week and he makes really cool, colorful pattern artwork because the more color you put on things, the happier your artwork is going to get. And if your artwork is happy, when you look at it, you will feel happy. Before we get started painting our actual thing, I have a few painting tips to show you because we have to remember how to use our paint set correctly and how to use our brush correctly. Once we know how to use those things the right way, we can be successful in art class and our art supplies will last way longer because we need to let these to really last so we have to take good care of them. You need your watercolor paint set that you got in your special art kit, or if you have your own paint set, awesome. You need a brush today, and you need a little cup of water. Once you have those three things and your artwork, meet me back here, and we're going to paint this guy. for part two of our pattern pumpkins inspired by Romero Brito. Now last week you put all these really cool patterns and designs all over your pumpkin using lines and shapes. If you haven't done this yet, pause, go back to part one and get this part done before you do your painting today. Now to paint, we need a few things. Make sure you have your cup of water and your paintbrush. I just have a regular old cup. Our watercolor paint won't hurt anything, so um, it doesn't, it won't hurt your cup today. And you need your watercolor paint set. You got one in your art kit from school. So if you do not have your free paint set from school, please go to school and get that now. You don't have to buy one for yourself. Um, you might have a regular colored paint set or you might have a glitter color paint set. Now, boys and girls, mine came from school, so they're a little messy looking on the inside, but it's okay. They will still work just fine. So you might have gotten a glitter one, awesome, or you might have gotten a regular one, depending. So we are gonna put our paint sets close by us with our water nearby too. I am right-handed, so I like my water and my paint to be on my right-hand side. Maybe you're left-handed and you'll put it over here. Maybe you're sharing with a buddy at the table, so you'll put it at the top in between you. So boys and girls, to get our paint ready, remember we're gonna take our brush and the first thing we're gonna do is get our watercolor paint ready. Now, our watercolor paint when we get it is dry. It's not ready to paint with at all. So first we have to turn on our watercolor paint with a little bit of water. So take your paintbrush, dip it in your water and just put a few drops of water on your colors. Now your watercolor paint set should have every color of the rainbow plus black and brown, which is awesome. Or if you have a glitter set, it might look a little different. Once our paint has some water on it, it's starting to get turned on. Now remember, boys and girls, when we use our paintbrush, we want our bristles to stay nice and pretty and straight. We don't want our brush to get a bad hairdo. Oh no would be awful. So please be careful with your paintbrush. When we paint and get our paint from our brush, remember we tickle the end of our paintbrush just ever so gently like a little dancer, okay? Um, we do not want to jab or press our paintbrush into our paint like this for two reasons. First, 
it gives our paintbrush a bad hairdo. And second, it's going to mess up your paint set. And you want your paint set to last a very long time. So please do not jam or twist your brush into your paint set like this. To fix it, you're gonna put dip it in your water and then be real gentle to kind of brush that brush to make it really nice and happy again. Remember, you want this to last a long time, so please be careful and gentle with your paintbrush. Now, in order to get the right amount of paint, remember you're going to tickle your paint just a little bit with that paintbrush, and then you have to load it up. So to okay. load up our paintbrush, remember we tickle it on our wet paint by swirling gently and we go loading, 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 stop. Then I have quite a bit of paint inside of that paintbrush so that I have plenty of paint in there to get a beautiful bright color. Wow, look how nice that is. Wonderful, and I can paint with that for quite a while right? If I want to change colors, boys and girls, remember I swirl my paintbrush into my water calmly, not crazy, and then it will be drippy. So I touch twice on the inside of my water bucket. I don't want to do this. Remember, this is a crazy loud noise and it gets paint everywhere. So once we have our brush clean, we touch twice on the inside. Okay, then to get a new color, if I were to just touch it and start painting, I might not have enough paint. So I load my paintbrush by going loading, 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 stop. And now I have tons of paint to move around and paint with. Wow, remember if while we're painting our paint gets like this, what does that mean boys and girls? That means I need some more paint and some more water. If our paint gets a little dry like that, add some more water to your paintbrush. I always like to give it a nice little tap on my cup. Load it up, loading, 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 stop. And now I am ready to keep painting, okay? And I always get some water first before I get my color. I do not want to dig in there, right? We're just tickling. So to get my next color, I tickle my brush. It's just a little bit of my brush is touching my paint. Loading, 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 stop. And that will be plenty. Wow, I don't have to dig, I don't have to twist, I don't have to push. I'm just gently getting some paint on my brush. All right, always clean it in between, touch twice, and then get my new color. Now there was a little bit of green on my yellow, but watch, it will not matter at all. It's still bright and beautiful yellow. So don't worry if your colors get a little bit messy. Okay, one more thing, boys and girls, if your paint is a little bit wet and you try to paint another wet thing next to it, like for example, I'm gonna put my yellow paint right here. And now let's say I wanna put a color next to it, like red. I don't wanna paint my red right after I've already painted my yellow because it will bleed and mix all together. Do you see that, how they're bleeding together? Uh-oh. If you want that to happen on purpose, okay, but if not, make sure you wait till your paint is dry, like this purple over here, and then when I paint right next to it, it will not blend and bleed and mix. Okay, boys and girls, to help us with our pumpkins, we are gonna try to divide our paints into three color sets, warm colors, cool colors and neutrals. So our warm colors are colors that remind us of heat and hot things and fire. So my warm colors, if I look at my paint set, what are my warm colors? Hmm. My warm colors, boys and girls, are these ones at the front of the rainbow. My red, la la, bright, beautiful, is orange. Ooh la la, yellow, 
Ooh la la. Now cool colors are these other ones of the rainbow that reminds us of cold things like ice cubes and snowflakes and cold grass in the spring and fall time when you step in it with your toes. Green. Ooh la la. It's blue. Purple. So we have three cool colors and three warm colors in our paint palettes. Then, boys and girls, we also have neutral colors. So colors that aren't really warm or cool, but we like to call them neutral. And we get those by mixing some of these warm and cool colors together. So our first neutral color is beautiful brown. And my second neutral color, boys and girls, is black. Now these colors are awesome because they go with our warm and cool all of the time. You can always add them in. They're pretty awesome. We are going to use our warm and our cool and our neutral colors in our pumpkin drawings today, boys and girls. And what we're gonna do is if we have a warm colored pattern, we're gonna try to use a cool color of paint so that it really pops out from the paper. Because boys and girls, if I were to paint this this section of my pumpkin with the hearts with orange to match, which seems like the right thing to do, well, your hearts will disappear. So you want to use an opposite color, a cool color, to make those hearts stand out and pop and be very exciting. Okay, now that we've had a quick review on how to paint, we are ready to paint in our Romero Brito pumpkins. So let's get started, friends. And I'm gonna use my warm and cool colors to paint it in with my watercolor now that I remember how to use my paintbrush and my watercolor set. It's all nice and liquidy and ready to go. So I'm gonna start over here and get working on my hearts. Now, boys and girls, we're gonna do a resist today. That's why we had to press so hard with our crayons. If you press really hard with those crayons, your watercolor paint will resist it. So I'm gonna get some water, get some paint, loading, 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 stop. And I'm going to use blue because blue is a cool color and orange is a warm color. So I'm going to use a, a cool color since my hearts are warm and I am going to paint it in. I'm gonna use my brush really carefully. And boys and girls, when we do our resist, if I start to paint over my hearts, if I have enough water in my paintbrush, my crayons should start to push away the watercolor paint. Hopefully. <laughs> if it goes over top, that's also okay. And you can even paint around your different shapes. Wow, how fun is that? And fill in that whole section with one big awesome color. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh, it looks so great. If it looks a little lighter, you can always add some more paint right into that spot while it's still wet and it will make your paint nice and bright and dark. Because dark and bright color is the key for painting. Now, I wanna do this section next because it's the next one in line, but I learned that if I paint two colors next to each other, they might bleed, so I'm gonna jump to a new section of my painting. I think I'm gonna just skip one and go to this guy, my red one. And red, boys and girls, is a warm color so this time instead of using one of these i'm gonna jump and use one of these cool colors i think i'm gonna use purple this time so i clean my brush touch twice get some purple and now i am going to paint in my zigzag patterns oh boy and fill in your whole section of your pumpkin with that gorgeous color. And if your paintbrush gets a little dry, add some more water or you can even add some more paint. Wow, oh, 
love it. All right, I'm gonna skip one, come to this guy. I have my wave lines. It's done with green, which green is a cool color. So instead, I'm going to paint it with a warm color. And boys and girls, I'm really excited because my pumpkin is getting really crazy colored, which makes me very happy. My warm color that I'm going to choose is orange. So loading up my paintbrush and now painting it in. Oh boy, staying in that section, painting around all of my beautiful sections. If you paint on top, that's okay because crayon can handle a little bit of paint on top. Sometimes if you've pressed hard enough, that paint will actually, that crayon will actually push the paint right off. My gorgeous crazy Romero Brito pumpkin is all done now it's very wet so I'm gonna let it sit here and I'm gonna go do something else while I let this dry if I try to pick it up now remember it will run and bleed and make a big mess so I'm gonna let it sit right here and dry when it's all done then I can cut it out but I have to wait and be patient first Great job, boys and girls. You can see that I have warm and cool colors mixed together. I have filled in all of the sections of my pumpkin. There is no white space left inside my pumpkin at all. And I did have a few spots where some colors bled a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it at all. I still think it is very, very beautiful now that it's finished. So let it dry and then we'll come back and cut it out. Now that you've finished your pumpkins, boys and girls, and they are all done, hold it up to your face, take a picture on your Chromebook, and upload this picture to Canvas to get your grade. Oh, they look so great. I can't wait to see them.